Hey guys, Dry Shop Drew here. How are y'all doing today? Well, me and my lovely wife decided to take a walk and uh, I'll show you guys where we are in a second here. I'll just turn the camera around. Alright, so there's my lovely wife out with me for a walk. And we come out to see what they're doing over here at the uh, Burmore. Right now, he's just jackhammering away here on the street, breaking up the pavement. I guess they're going to redo the pavement. And you guys can see there's construction out, you know, in the bridge yard. They put that, uh, the tunnels in. It's just not opened up to the public yet. So we're just taking a walk along here. And as you guys can see, it's, uh, you got the new part of the path up ahead here with the, going up on, closer to the highway up on the bridge. And there's the old part of the path that we used to take. This has all been resurfaced, the whole area here. So, kind of neat to see what's going on. But uh, as we get up closer to the bridge, I'll give you guys some more footage here. Okay, so you guys you guys can see I'm on the other side here. You can see the, the top of the hammer over there, the one we were just looking at. The jackhammer machine. And uh, they are working all over the place. There's a cat pushing the, the gravel there, building up the new road they're building. And you can see the traffic's pretty heavy in this area, even though it's under construction. And over there, these guys are putting in the rebars and stuff like that. And uh, about the base of the bridge here, they put a nice concrete barrier so people walking are safe. And they also put the metal barrier here so people don't fall down or go boom into the river. <laughs> So, uh, I guess they built this so when it floods that uh, not so much uh, stuff happening. So, down there you can see the old path. If you look from here, you can see the other path that runs across. We're going to go back down that way, I guess, make a loop. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come to the top here and see what they all did. So, we're out for a walk. Just something to do here. So we'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay, so now I'm over the river here, guys. You can see the river is flowing pretty good. And they're, uh, they put a new culvert and they did all this stuff here on the side. You can see it from here and I'll take it from another angle later. But they put a lot of gravel and stuff in here. So yeah, the river's flowing good. You can see uh, it's pretty high actually, the water still, surprising. And on this side, they're working on the bridge itself, on the opposite side here. They got that whole secondary lane all taken out. I guess they're going to be building all new and reinforcing the bridge. This side appears to be pretty much done already. They got the new uh, barriers here. So it's a, it's a pretty neat uh, project. It's actually a lot of construction going on around here. As you guys can see, there's that jackhammer there. He's moving over there. <laughs> You can see all the construction area. So, just give you guys like a little bit of a view here, do like a 360, just to give you an idea. So, there you go, full 360, and it getting you dizzy yet? Yeah, I guess not. Anyways, we're gonna continue walking here. We're gonna follow this path down and go on to the other path and work our way around. So, the guys, they're watering down the gravel I guess so they could pack it properly and they have like a sunscreen between us and them so I guess this uh, gives them a little bit of a break from sun or whatever but yeah they got enough equipment and enough people working that's for sure so boy am I happy with my day off it's nice and hot and sunny here so it is what it is guys so hang on I'm gonna check this out <laughs> yeah look at the size of that rock you think they want to hold that hose down? Holy. <laughs> Don't know why, but they got them all along here, these big rocks. I guess that's for holding the hose down. Nobody can steal it or something. <laughs> but yeah, this is all new here. Like I say, all new pavement. Or blacktop, I should say. But this is a bicycle walking path that we're on. The new one. So, and they got like uh, their mobile set up here that people stay 24 7 if they want to they got accommodations for the workers and that guy there's watering from the back of his truck 
Uh, it looks pretty funny when you think about it. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go from here and we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so those big bricks covering those hoses aren't hoses. It's actually an electrical service panel. So I guess that's what runs all their electrical. They got it hooked to a pole. I guess it's a temporary setup electrical panel. And I guess they run all their electrical off of the pole. So it all runs down under the bridge, across and back to their camp over there. So I guess that's their electrical service outlet. I thought, I didn't realize those were electrical wires. I thought they were hoses. <laughs> nice big electrical setup. So I just thought I'd throw that in to show you guys. So I don't know how much you guys can see of this, but uh, you can see they got the construction sign underneath the bridge as well. And I guess they're doing some reinforcements underneath the bridge and stuff like that as well. So there you guys go. Another view for you from a different angle. You can see all the traffic up there. This is a nice shady area I'm in right now. We're just in full sunlight when we're up there, but here it's nice and shady. As you can tell, there's trees all around us. So we're in the shade, as you can see by the ground. So there you guys go. But uh, just thought I'd show you guys this a little bit too, give you a little bit different view angle. Okay, so we're coming back to the little bridge here again. I've shown this on my film before, but if you look straight up, that's where the construction is, guys. We came down that way and worked our way around. Looks like somebody painted some stuff on this bridge. So pretty cool stuff. And there's the river again. Now the river looks normal from here. From up on the big bridge, it looks like it was flowing really fast, but from here it looks normal. So, there you go. Okay, so as you can see, we're back at the fork in the path here. We went down that way, all the way around, and we're coming back up this way. And there's our jackhammer again. I guess he's on break. And they're raising some dust there for some reason. <laughs> so, there you guys go. I'll show you guys at the end there where they were, where it goes through to the, through the, I'll show you. Just hang on. Okay guys, so at the beginning of the film here, I was mentioning uh, the tunnel going through. This is going to be a walk path tunnel where people are going to be able to walk through that tunnel there and get to the other side to the apartments there, which will be nice because they'll stay off of the highway that way. And you can see here, there's our path that we're on over there. And they extended this path up to where this gentleman up ahead is, right there. And then they brought the path all the way over to uh, the other street out here where uh, ladies walking. So I just thought I'd show you guys there. That's our swimming pool in our area right there, our Bonnevatel pool. So, and then right behind in there, Superstore, that big gray building in the back behind the trees there that you guys see. So there, that's where we're at. I just thought I'd show you guys more of the construction and what's going on. So, like I say, it's going to be nice when they're done. Right now, it's a mess and it's a pain in the butt, but once they're done, I'm sure it'll be really nice. Okay, guys, a second ago, I said Bonnie Vitell Pool. Bonnie Vitell Pool is actually over there across the river. So, I made a mistake. This is St. Vitell Pool. We have another pool here. This is St. Vitell Pool here. And I had said Bonnie Vitell, but it's actually St. Vitell Pool. And I didn't realize that for when I said Bonnie Vitell. Bonnie Vitell is the other one. This is St. Vitell Pool. So this is an outdoor pool. Bonnie Vitell Pool is an indoor pool. So there you guys go. Sorry about that. But anyways, we're going to continue to walk home now. And we'll talk to you guys when we talk to you. As you can tell, the pool's pretty busy today because it's a nice hot day. So talk to you all later. Look at the goodness. Oh, yeah. That's what I call a salad with Italian dressing on top. Oh, yeah, baby. Yummy, yummy, yummy good. Mm -hmm. There's the teaser, folks. Later. Oh, look at that cute little fox. Ain't that sweet? Oh, man. I gotta zoom in a bit for you guys. Look at. You don't care. You want to stop and look at me? You can stop and look at me. 
What you doing, baby? He's just eating whatever he's eating there. Yeah, he's just on our way out to Curtis's house. I'm bringing him some stuff. So I just happened to see the fox. So we decided we'd stop and take a peek. See. <laughs> so he's just on the other side of the ditch there. He's just digging away. Hey, what you doing? What you doing? Hi. Hi there, Foxy. He says, okay, there's somebody watching me. I don't care. Anyway, we're going to let him play. Now let's see if we actually get out and see how close I can get to him. Just a baby. He's digging for something there. Nobody coming anyway, so. Hi, what you doing? Hi there. Hi. What you got? You got something to eat? Can I come meet you? Should I come see you? You gonna come over here? Hey. You got fleas? <coughs> you're not scared of me at all, are you? Well, you're eating ants. That's what you're eating. <laughs> Can I come visit? Oh, that's it. No way, he says. Are you going to come back? Come on. Come on. Hey, come here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he just says, nope. <laughs> I'm going to play here. So, anyway, you guys, I just thought I'd throw this little clip in for you. You're a friendly little guy, aren't you? So I'll talk to you all later. He's taking me around this trail that he built here. He went right around there from over there, and there's the garden in the, in the fence. Smart enough to fence off the garden so the deer can't eat it. And, and he's got all kinds of Saskatoons here on this side. Yeah. But that tree over there is a little the different. Pinch cherries, I think, is what it's considered. Yeah. What is this one? Is this Saskatoons as well? Nope. This nope. is the pinch cherries. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's what it's considered. I'm actually not too sure. I'm not sure what this is. Does anybody out there know what these are? If Zoom can... in on the ones in the shell. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I got a couple of them here. So if you guys can identify this Here, plant. Look, see what I mean about jaggedy? Yeah, jaggedy leaf. So, yeah. we thought originally some of them might have been poison sumac or whatever, but no, they, they changed color, so. <coughs> I'm not sure what these ones are. I think those might be those winter berries. All I know is that uh, they I'm are not edible. Sure. Yeah, they are edible, the I'm pretty sure. Yeah, kind of a different uh, thing. So you can see there, in, they have pods. Oops, if I can focus. See the pods on these things? I'm not 100% sure what they are, Curtis, so. Yeah, so. I wouldn't take a chance eating these no, yet. No, they're going to be fine, I'm sure of it, but. Oh, well, I'll figure out what it is. I'll look, I'll Google it. Or I could just do this. I got the app to do that. Oh, do you? Well, I'll do it, see what it is. I'm bringing yours out right now. Hi, Proxy. We'll come in. Hey, maybe girl. Grandpa's home. Or do you want to go on Proxy, grandpa's home. Garden? Because he wants to put it on video. For Grandpa's today. home. Yeah, Grandpa's <laughs> home. Uh, I, I don't want her scratching like I know, that. I so know. So don't, no more. <laughs> okay, Proxy, I'll talk to you later, puppy. I'll come in. <laughs> hey, Seda. You see Seda when she's <laughs> going over on? Yeah, last time, yeah. Hi. <laughs> see, this is as far as the trail's going there. to stay open here, Dad, because I don't want to lose this tree. Yeah, that's what I would do, too. I'd leave it like that. Just yeah. enough to, you got a little bit of a trail around, that's all. Yeah. Oh, I see your onions did curl again this I year. I cut them like three times. I'm just mowing them down now. Just we just threw those there originally and they grew. Eh? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty woody now, I bet you. Oh, did you have to? <laughs> oh, my God, Curtis. You die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah. one's kind of shocked. <laughs> There's Seda. We're going to take a walk over to the garden. I'll give you guys some video from there as well. So this is Curtis's girlfriend. She's going to show me her garden. Okay, so here's the tomatoes. <laughs> Uh, there is basil and chives and oregano and 
thyme, I think. No, what do I got there? Um, apple mint, sage. There you go. Okay, I'll go. Oh, that's just another thing to try. This is where we used to have the goats, but there are no goats here anymore, so it's just stored for garden yeah, stuff. Goats are gone, yeah. <laughs> There's good little garden shed. Here. Oh, there you go. She got lots of onions planted. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and there's still some that needs to go in. And there is, uh, this is like a butterhead lettuce. Oh, yeah. This is a red butterhead lettuce. This is red Russian kale. That's strawberry spinach and New Zealand spinach. Um, in here is broccoli, cauliflower, two different types of kohlrabi, uh, Brussels sprouts. And actually, there's two different types of broccoli in here, too, and two different types of cabbage. I guarantee you, Curtis is the one who wants the kohlrabi, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> that whole back section is kohlrabi for him. All right. <laughs> um, carrots, This yeah. is purple dragon carrots, and this is a different kind of carrots. And, and this beets, is my yeah. beets that are going crazy. Yeah. And there's radishes over there in the small one. Uh, that's potatoes. Okay. Hey, and you got it. You got it laid out pretty good in here, actually. Yeah. You got a nice little pass in between here, everything. Yep. This is going to be the seating area, so the basic idea is we're going to think four posts and then put like a trellis over top. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, and I got some fabric and some out, like, you know, stuff that I don't mind putting outside and whatever, so we're going to make it kind of like a nice seating area in there. This okay. is going to be opened up a gateway into the pool and big enough to bring the tractors in. Okay. This is blueberries that I have here. There's the regular blueberries and then there's pink blueberries. Oh, Ooh. nice. Let's see, I think there's some on pink there. Pink blueberries? Yeah. Never heard of that before. On this one, they're a new thing from, I think I got them from Canadian. Oh, neat. Yeah. You're edible? Yeah. Yoink. <laughs> they taste the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so here is watermelon and watermelon, and I think that's either cantaloupe or honeydew, I'm not sure. I rescued it from Superstore at the end of the year. Oh, okay. Sad. Along with these, now, this was my cucumber bed, but my cucumbers never took off. I have three of the original ones, so there's one, two, three there. Okay. They succumbed to the frost, and I was rather upset by that, so I didn't plant this bed for a while, but I rescued a bunch of other cucumbers, so I planted those over there, and then I rescued some more tomatoes, and those are in there as well. Oh, there you go. kind of the bed that I did, like, yeah. last, right? I see you got your knee pads, Andy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so in here, on either corner is zucchini. The, uh, that right there is one of my zucchini that, again, the frost took those oh, ones. Yeah. So also in here is sweet chocolate peppers, King of the North peppers. There's a basic bell pepper and then another kind of bell pepper and then these red peppers. Well, you've got so, corn going there too, eh? Kind of peppers in there. <laughs> these are eggplant. There are my original eggplants here, and then these are two that I again rescued from Claire's like garden center. These are my pumpkins that are doing really good. I'm gonna actually have to move some of those. Mm. Those are uh, sugar pumpkins. Small oh, sugar okay. Pumpkins, and these are winter luxury pumpkins. And then there's more watermelon over here. All right. And in here now there's. Two, this bed spans like it's a big L, right? Yeah. Um, so on this side is Japonica maize, which is this stuff, which is really, really beautiful. Um, and then the Painted Lady Runner Beans. Oh, okay. Um, and then there's supposed to be spaghetti squash. Yeah, there's three spaghetti squash in here. I'm going to have to move one of them down here. And then on this side is the Orchard Baby Corn uh and uh tertiary beans which are like a gray speckled kind of bean okay um and then there's supposed to be crookneck squash on this side but most of them died nope. there's one over there um this is a pumpkin that i transplanted into there and there'll probably be a couple more like that these marigolds are all waiting to go in the garden around you know keep the bunnies away as things get bigger yeah well with the fence it helps too so yeah, we put the electric fence up um, around the top, so hopefully the deers won't yeah. jump up over it. Yeah, well, that's, what, six and a half feet? Yeah, you can still have deer jumping up. Yeah. But, but that know, chances are they won't. certainly a deterrent. Yeah, exactly. So, like, it was really actually... Look at that, you got a lot of strawberries here, too. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> I'm pulling them under the beds everywhere. Yeah. Like, this area was full of areas like this where it's just stuff yeah. and roots and... 
Did you plant on, uh, peas and, and the radishes and stuff? No, because my garden trellis was supposed to be built already for uh, the, tree, the peas to climb the side of it. Uh, but somebody's been fascinated with um, playing with tractors and go-karts and hasn't built me my garden trellis, so how can I try it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now say your channel name on here so I can get everybody to Oh, it's check uh, out. Karis Venustis. But you can just say Karis if you want to refer to me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, it's Latin. It's tricky. It's tricky. I still can't say it even though she says it. <laughs> yeah. You can just call me Karis. Yeah. That's fine. So, um, like I said, I picked up some more dirt. And we've got this, uh, you'll see the, the mulch everywhere. We got that to put around the edges and make some of the pathways a little bit nicer. Yeah, it'll be nicer, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the garden, guys. So... And you can see Curtis is over there with uh, my wife and her daughter. And they have their swimming pool there in the back. And there's the trailer over there. So now i got to go in and drink my coffee that she so kindly made me. And I'm going to go see Proxy. There's peas there. Oh, there's the peas. There's stevia there, too. It's discharged. <laughs> okay, guys. So we'll call it an end for now. Later. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Chili. On top of French fries. Ooh, with green onions and sour cream and two types of cheese and a cheesy bun. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum.